In less than 24 hours, a mosque will open in Troy, but it's still in the middle of a massive legal battle. At first, there was a fight between the mosque and the city of Troy over whether the house of worship could even open. Now there's a fight over the money owed to the mosque. Grant Herms in Troy tonight on Rochester Road near Waddles. And Grant, this has been years of fighting over this. Jason Karen, it started back in 2018, and we're talking almost five years uh, actually at this point when the community leaders here bought this building for the mosque and community center. Doors open tomorrow, but this legal fight is far from over. Back in March, a federal judge ordering the city of Troy and the leaders of the Adam Community Center to come to an agreement after the city's zoning laws were found to be in violation of federal law and the mosque suing for damages, saying the zoning law cost the mosque funding. The city of Troy has acted egregiously since 2018 with regards to this, this case. Council on American Islamic Relations Michigan is representing the mosque. The money that we're asking for is not excessive. It's very much in line with settlements that are very recent for the same issues in other cities in the state of Michigan. We're also asking for actual damages. In all, the community center is asking for $1.9 million, citing those other cases in Sterling Heights and Pittsfield Township, where settlements were reached for one and a half and $1.75 million. But Troy Mayor Ethan Baker says the city won't agree if the price tag is over a million. You know, certainly we're not even considering settlement so long as they're demanding well over a million dollars in damages. Frankly, there are seven of us on council. That's not just one of our decisions to make. We have a difficulty sharing what's happening behind closed doors in legal settlement discussions and posturing. And the other side has been very um, free with what they've said. And we just can't do that. We're restricted by statute. On the eve of a grand opening, no legal closure in sight. Now, despite all of this, the mayor told us he's happy that the mosque is here and opening, and he will be here for the ribbon cutting tomorrow. Back to you. Grant, uh, before you go, what happens next in court? Well, there are a few things that could happen here. Both CARE and the leaders of the mosque want the judge in the Eastern District of Michigan, that's a federal judge in Detroit, to issue a summary judgment, basically make a ruling in their favor once and for all. That's a parallel request going along with the U.S. Department of Justice that wants the same thing. The city wants that judge to dismiss this case entirely. We'll be waiting. Back yeah. to you. Long process. We'll see how it turns out. Mm -hmm. All right, Grant.